for a second straight year. The Seahawks open the regular season at home. Facing a division opponent in the Rams is challenging enough, but so is week one in and of itself. It's just getting out there and getting going. You know, if you remember the first preseason game, we tackled, you know, for garbage in the first quarter, and then we got to going and everything was okay from that point after that. But you got to get going. You know, coming out fast and executing, you know, keeping things simple, um, not, not making it, you know, too much. Geno Smith gets a weapon back in Jackson Smith and Jigba. The rookie had surgery on his wrist two weeks ago and is expected to play Sunday. Um, I mean, it just shows his commitment, um, and I knew he would. I knew he was always going to play week one. Just you know, just from talking to him, you know, around the locker room. Um, but you know, he's always a competitive dude who always wants to be out there on the field competing. A full complement of wide receivers gives Geno more options against a speedy Rams secondary. Yeah, They're really quick. They're very aggressive. Um, the quickness is really shows up um, in their ability to cover and stay tight to people. Um, we'll see. We're, we're anxious to see how they do it. You know, are they going to stay with their, their scheme that they've had and they didn't in preseason? Are they going to play more man to man with those guys? We'll find out. Um, but it's a it's a talented group athletically and they're just young. Up front, Aaron Donald gets most of the attention and for good reason. Seattle didn't face him last year as he dealt with a late season ankle injury. But since coming into the league in 2014, he's recorded 103 career sacks, 15 of those against Seattle, and he can make quarterbacks jumpy with the pressure he brings. He's, he's, he's been at the top of the game at his position for a long time now. I uh, don't see anything changing. I know the way he works, the way his mindset is, you know, whether he missed a few games at the end last year or not, he's coming in ready to go. Donald is a stalwart, but the Rams defense looks different from last season with several key departures, including leading tackler Bobby Wagner, who looks forward to facing his former team. I just think it just makes the game more fun because you, uh, you know, you know them, they know you, uh, you got to pick their brain on, you know, I was asking them questions about things that they were doing uh, against us when I was playing here. So, you know, who would have thought that come back here and now will they use those things? Will they not use those things? Will I switch something up? Will I not? So it's, it's all chess, but it should be a fun game. It also marks the return of Jordan Brooks less than eight months after undergoing knee surgery to repair his ACL. I hope we don't just pass on it like this is not a big deal. That's a, a extremely big deal, something that we should definitely um, applaud, definitely appreciate, definitely, um, you know, acknowledge because that's not easy having that type of injury coming back being ready for the first game because I, I think, you know, when he got hurt, I don't think anybody thought that he's going to be ready for his first game. The Hawks run defense will get an early test against Cam Akers. The Rams back finished the 2022 season with three straight 100 yard rushing games, including a 104 yard effort against Seattle in week 18. The discipline under everybody understanding their fits, um, being physical at the line of scrimmage, guys getting off of blocks, those are all the things we've been working on. And obviously you just want to see that come to fruition on game day. So that's the expectation. I love the challenge because obviously he's a heck of a running back. Seattle will see Matthew Stafford for the first time since 2021. The quarterback missed both games against the Hawks last season. I mean, me and Staff go back to 2015, so um, I'm sure he knows my tendencies and I know a little bit of his tendencies. So um, it's just, you know, it's a chess game between us two. And um, for me, just being able to, to, to find formations that I'm familiar with and, you know, just go make the plays that I'm able to make. And um, I think it'll be fun. You know, it'll be good to go up against my guy. That was just one of the injuries that plagued the Rams last year and led to some of the lowest offensive numbers in the league. They'll be without do-it-all wide receiver and Northwest native Cooper Cup this week. But Justin Jefferson and Tutu Atwell still present challenges. You know what? I know they're all really, really well coached. Uh, I know there's great discipline to their offense and how they run things. If anything, it can make them just as dangerous because now, as opposed to worrying about who the primary target is, the ball can go anywhere, you know, with, uh, with all the guys they have available, and that would be the anticipation. The Seahawks 2023 season kicks off at 125 on Sunday. You can watch that game on Fox 13 or listen along on the Seahawks radio network.